The question was, what do you do when you wake up in the morning and you're having a panic attack? That is something I lived with for years and it is terrifying. This is new to me. It's terrifying. I'm so sorry this is happening to you. And I want to tell you, you can actually get control of it. You ready? Yeah. So first things first, let me explain what's happening when your body is in a state of panic, okay? So that you understand what's going on. Have you ever been in a situation in your car where you almost get in an accident? Yes. And immediately when that car almost sideswipes you, what happens in your body? You just, you tense up, you have a uh, instant, um, what's the word, adrenaline. Yes, yeah. yes, like your heart's racing, right? Yeah. And your palms get sweaty. In the situation I just gave you, your brain has context for what the fuck is going on. So your brain goes, oh my God, we almost just got hit by a car. As soon as the car leaves, your body starts to slow down, doesn't it? Right. What happens when you're having a panic attack is you wake up in the middle of the morning and your body's in a state of alert, just as if a car almost hit you. Okay. But the problem is your mind has no explanation for why it's happening. Yes. Does that make sense? That's the hard part. Yes, so your mind gets really scared because your body is now doing something okay. that normally only happens when there's danger. But the problem, but there's no danger. But you don't know the difference. So you yeah. now wake up and I would get in this cycle where I would literally have panic attack after panic attack and then I'd be afraid of having a panic attack. Yeah. And then I'd have a panic attack. So you're gonna do this. When you wake up and you feel that, do not lie in bed. Stand up immediately. Okay. Start your day. Then as- Even if it's two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> if it's two o'clock in the morning, yes. Because lying in bed with all of that and deep breathing, it's probably not gonna help. Okay. If you actually get up and physically move, your body now thinks, oh, she's getting away from the danger. Okay. What I want you to do is come up with an anchor thought. What is a thought? Give me, give me a vi tell, describe a place where you feel really happy and centered and grounded. Watching my grandkids. Great. You're gonna go five, four, three, two, one, and you're gonna have a particular vision of you and your grandchildren. Okay. Super specific. And then just say, I'm so excited to see them tomorrow. I'm so excited I see to see them every day. All right, I'm so excited to see them in the morning. I'm so excited. And what's gonna happen is by saying you're excited and okay. by counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, you interrupt the patterns, right. you awaken mm -hmm. this. by saying, I'm excited to see my babies, and then you've got a picture of them, your mind's gonna start to go, oh, her heart's racing because she's excited to see her babies. Okay. Just keep saying that. You've gotta give your mind an explanation right. to get it to calm your body down. Okay. In the car crash, <clears throat> your mind knows what's happening. Yeah. You're gonna give it a reason. Do you understand? I do. The other thing I want you to know, in the back of this book, last page, right here, this is for everybody. The book comes with 31 days of video torture. <laughs> Sign up for it, because I go into panic and anxiety very deeply. Okay. All that's happened is, for some reason, you've started to worry. And that worry has become a habit, and now your body is worrying, and that's now leading to panic. We can reverse it, okay? You're welcome, thank you. That's actually my gift to you.